Oh. Oh no. Welcome to oh. Illusionist. Oh. Well, if I reach out oh. with an empty hand. Oh no. Oh no. No. Who oh. was very supportive and I no. do tricks for this person over oh. and over and over and over again. Oh. 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 Have you ever What's seen someone who sits there What's and plays with the cards what? like this? They just what? sit there and what? fiddle What's with going? them. In that movement, which covers it beautifully. Oh. Oh. What? Wait, what are you doing here? The How to Do Street Magic deck by Illusionist.com. Hookers and street magic. Who would have thought that's the simple formula in order to become a millionaire? Years ago, people would have laughed at Brad Christian if he would have told them that he was going to use this thing called the internet to promote the act of teaching magic to other magicians. They would have said, hey, all that time and days of our lives must have really screwed with your head because there's no way that you could do that, Brad. And now look at where we've come where I have access to a private reserve of illusionist how to do street magic playing cards. Of course, I thought that I was receiving a iconic thing that was a relic of the past. Little did I know that illusionists themselves were selling this on this website and you too could become a proprietor of this deck if you so happen to go to illusionist.com. But that still doesn't deter from its worth. What we have here is an homage, a dedication, a tribute to one of the greatest things to reach our dirty little eyes. I myself remember as a little pigger looking through the illusionist.com website, scraping every single video that I could find for any sort of content. And the majority of that content came from this very kit, the how to do street magic. I saw some hookers, I saw some magic, and I saw it all online. What a foreign concept. I never thought I'd be able to see magic tricks online in video form. And of course, look at where we are now, me holding this deck, you sitting there on your couch with Dorito stains on your disgusting shirt. And yet both of us have never seen any bitches. So I was gifted this deck of playing cards in my time in England while I was helping them shoot some bits for their brand new mentalism box. And I asked the same question that you did. Where did this come from? Is this the same deck that was supposedly given with the how to do street magic kit? Did you really find these in the illusionist warehouse? Were they intended to be given with the original kit? Now, alas, I'll leave that mystery for you to solve. But what we have here is a very nice deck of playing cards. As you can see from the card box, it has pretty much the exact same thing you would have found on the illusionist.com website from back in the day. It has a list of all the tricks. The box itself has little references. For example, once you lift the flap, it says you two can levitate. Now the playing cards have the illusionist logo on top of what looks like to be some sort of gradient design. The front of the cards are pretty much well stocked apart from the ace of spades. You can see the joker. In this case, the joker has a uh, DVD. You have a, a double backer and we have the other joker. That's a VHS and we have a little bit of a reference to maybe a ninja deck. Of course, I always have to tell the illusionist boys that are currently watching this video to have me in ninja three, please. I'm begging you, make it happen. What's stopping you, huh? Are you afraid? Are you scared that you can't top Ninja 1 and 2? Well, if there's one person that's gonna help you do it, it's this guy, two thumbs and loves blowjobs. Please guys, get Brad out of retirement and have him do Ninja 3 with me right next to him. So there's a reference to a potential future deck with the Ninja deck here, and uh, the cards are uh, pretty good. They fan well, they do all the things that you would expect them to do, but more importantly, they do something that you didn't realize. They take you back to the simpler times. They take you back to the days of old where internet was a brand new concept. We didn't know what this amalgus form would actually provide us. We were fresh off watching the street magic specials on TV, watching David Blaine levitate to lengths that no man should, doing card tricks for weird people in New York. Most of us were scraping the internet for every bit that we could find that could show us how to enhance our magic. And this deck represents that because this was Brad Christian's attempt to, I guess, capitalize on that need. It laid the foundation for what became the internet magic community, which has brought forth such great YouTube superstars 
like me, Pig Cake. If it wasn't for the kit, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for this kit, your favorite magician wouldn't be here. Because chances are, in one way or another, they were influenced by this very attempt at showing people magic online. Also, look at the jacks. Kind of cool, right? We have one side that uh, was a normal jack, and then the other side has the cool old sunglasses from 2005 that people used to wear. It's actually all the courts. All the courts have that little design. So nice little touch there, boys. So if you do decide to pick this up, make sure to let them know that, uh, well, it's because of me. They have a little comment section there. Why don't you go ahead and tell them, hey, Pick Cake sent me. Pick Cake's the reason that I bought this deck. He influenced me. Just like I'm attempting to influence them to do Ninja 3. A little bit of advice at the end of the videos. Uh, this right here, this is good. I'm drying my shoes. Uh, that I took to England. These are pretty beat up. I like to wear Vans. I'm a one shoe type of dude, right? A lot of people like to collect shoes and sneakers. I like to stick to one brand and usually get that till they fall apart. And here what I've done is that I've cleaned the shoe and also applied this, this right here, Kiwi Whitener. My grandmother taught me that uh, you should always have a clean pair of shoes because that's the first thing bitches tend to look at. So I've taken that advice to heart and every opportunity that I have, I clean these shoes and whiten them. You should too. It's basic. It's a nice way of always looking like you have fresh kicks. Even if they might have little holes, they still look clean. So that's a very important thing. And uh, Lord knows as a magician, you already probably have a poor hygiene. So make sure at least, at the very minimum, your shoes look clean. And you're done. Look at this. Boom, bam, you're done. It's there. I'm gonna tackle actually teaching this thing properly the way I believe it should be done. I don't have any kind of problem with you doing this method. Some pros will, I don't. 